My dad, in the early 50s, when we still had silver in circulation, he worked as a hat salesman in a department store. And he was earning $30 a week, and he supported a family of four on that $30 a week. If we still had the silver, that $30 would be worth over $400 today. Well, what inspired me about these things uh, was many years ago, uh, I got to studying about money and currency and bartering. We set up a barter organization, been participated in several barter organizations over the years. And um, it seemed to me what we lacked was something that had intrinsic value, which means value in and of itself. So you could take one of these copper coins and melt it. It's still worth money at the scrapyard or anywhere else. But when they mint it, they put these beautiful pictures on it, and they, they come out really nice, and they feel very good in your hands. Because I was concerned that when I'm dealing with somebody with, with uh, Federal Reserve knowledge, which is the green printed paper we carry around, checks and blips on your computer or your card, there's nothing of value there. I mean, poof. Your battery goes out, there goes your record of whatever it is you were doing. And the money, uh, not, well, the Federal Reserve notes, uh, they depreciate in value from day to day to day. So they've lost over almost, uh, what, 93, 95% of their value since they first started printing those things. And um, it has less and less value each day. So I, got, I was concerned. You know, I was dealing with people, my friends, my family, and was I giving them, you know, when I bought something from them, was, it, was I being operating with integrity, with honesty? I'm giving them something that tomorrow is going to be worth less than I gave it to them today. Uh, something wrong with that picture. I didn't like that picture. And they were giving me the same thing in return. And I said, well, you know, this thing's going to lose its value in just a few weeks, months, or whatever. Can, we can do better. So some of us uh, conceived of this idea of, of swapping silver rounds, the same thing in silver and in copper between ourselves. And you get a good feeling when you do that because you're giving them something of value, whether they use it or not. If it sits in your door for a year, it still retains its value, like the five silver quarters from 1965. They maintain their value through the years. So if you take that intrinsic value and you stamp Tesla's picture on the front of it, and Walter Russell's picture on the front, and Edgar Casey's picture on the front, you've upped the value. Not only do you have the intrinsic value, but you've got the numismatic value because of what's printed on it. So we predict that the Tesla coins are going to rise in value quite quickly once they're in circulation. Let's make something new that's got value that we can uh, feel comfortable with dealing with each other. We honor each other when we buy and sell from each other. That's the way it works. So please make a contribution. Think about these people. Think about what they've done to your life, the benefits they've given for you, and see what you can do. $10, $20 donation to get this project funded is all that we're looking for. And you get these in return for your donation. You're not just giving us your money. So they have great value, and the value is going to go up. And you're going to feel real good when you start honoring some of these people who did so much for us. And we can only do tiny little things like this for them in return.